Hi guys, my name's Claire and welcome to my channel. I'm a second year graduate entry medical student at Swansea Uni and I'm about to enter the third year um, at uni, which is the start of the clinical years and the final stretch of medical school. I've also had some interest on some different topics like what it's like to study at Swansea Medical School, um, how to actually study for the GEMSAT itself as a non-science grad and just generally, and the finances of graduate entry medicine and um, a breakdown of exactly what you need at which stage. So I just thought I'd make a short video on the timeline of how I got into medical school and um, what I did along the way. So I'm just going to try and keep this video short um, and I'm going to go through that now. So I started studying law with German law at the University of Sheffield in 2014. This was after um, a year or two of deciding what I wanted to do. Um, I was toying with the idea of medicine, but I wasn't too sure um, back when I was 15, 16. I'm a native German speaker as well as English, so I decided to do law with German law because it was important to me at that time to keep the German going. A few years into law school, um, I started to think more and more about medicine and I perhaps regretted not having thought about it more when I was um, younger. I started to look into it a little bit and I found graduate medicine at first. I didn't really want to entertain the thought, it was a bit scary to be honest. You know, it seemed like a massive undertaking and it seemed um, like a really long, difficult application process. Um, it is difficult, but it's more than possible, so don't be put off by that. From that point forward, I kind of decided, okay, I think this is what I want to do. And from that, I thought it'd be a good idea to do some work experience to really make sure that it's the right thing for me. In the summer of second year, so 2016, I undertook work experience as a healthcare assistant for the three months of the summer. Um, it was full-time work, working in nursing homes, care homes, residential homes, and um, doing home visits as well. It was really great, it was really nice to um, work as a team in a healthcare setting, as I'd not done it in a healthcare setting before. Following that, I went on my year abroad to Germany as part of the degree. Luckily, in February in Germany, there's a big month off, and I decided to sit the March GAMSAT. So I used the February to really power down and just study full time for the GAMSAT. That worked really well. And thankfully I managed to get a grade good enough to secure all the interviews. I was absolutely terrified for GAMSAT. As a non-science grad, it sounded like a momentous task. And it was, um, it was kind of horrible studying for it at first, but I got into it and eventually you kind of find your swing. It just takes a few months to get used to it. And I ended up seeing it as um, the first step of becoming a doctor rather than an entrance exam. Because I thought to myself, if you want to do medicine, you will get there eventually. So therefore it was just kind of the first step, not a can I, can't I exam, if that makes sense. So I sat that and then I started my final year of law school at Sheffield later that year, so end of 2017. And that summer, I, um, having known that I'd already got a good enough GAMSAT score, I took some work experience in the local hospital for a week and in a GP practice for a week. And those were both really cool and um, it was just such a fun, positive experience having already sat the GAMSAT. Um, I um, submitted my UCAS application, which was in October, I think and then got the interviews which took place between like February and March or something like that. Um, offers were released shortly after that and I accepted an offer at Swansea University and started later that year in 2018. Here we are in 2020 and uh, I'm about to enter the third year. I'm really excited for that. Looking back, I'm really, really glad I went full steam ahead in deciding to study medicine. I knew it was the right decision for me and it definitely still was the right decision. Um, I'm loving every minute of it and I can't wait to finish medical school and start work as a doctor. It was very gruelling um, trying to get into medical school. Um, my experience was a little bit drawn out I guess because I was managed to plan ahead using my year abroad and studying for the GAMSAT on my year abroad. But saying that I could have just studied um, in the summer and sat the September GAMSAT so it doesn't need to be as drawn out. And similarly the work experience could be done in one summer as well. Um, as you only need a few weeks really if you can absorb well and just learn from that time. So I hope my timeline of events has kind of helped you see um, the number of steps you need to take to get into medical school and how to structure it 
it can be done in a few different ways. Um, that's my way, I kind of spaced it out and I think it was good to do that way because it meant I could relax at each stage as far as possible. <laughs> but yeah, it was fine. It seemed really, really daunting at the beginning, but you just need to concentrate on the next step. It's, it's a big process, but if you do it step by step, it's broken down and each step is just a small step to overcome. So yeah, if you want to do medicine, you know it's the right career for you, stick with it. You can get in and just persevere and be resilient.